Hi, in the previous lectures, we saw what is big data and big data ecosystem. As you know, the big data ecosystem consists of various open source projects that can be seen over here. It's under the Apache open source license. However, you have various distributors of these projects such as Hortonworks, CloudEra, MapR, IBM and many more. What we are referring to here is the distribution of Hadoop and related projects. So, it's logical to ask, what is HD Insight then? Well, HD Insight is simply a cloud version of Hortonworks data platform or HDP. It's 100% Apache Hadoop and not another version that's compatible to Microsoft. What you can do on Apache Hadoop distribution of Hortonworks is possible even on HD Insight. You have these virtual machines on Azure platform where the HDP has been installed as a bit, I mean as it is. The only difference here is Azure Data Lake or Azure Storage such as Blob is used for data storage instead of a standard HDFS. Let's see it in a bit more detail. So, in an HD Insight cluster, you have the head node or master node which keeps track of all the worker nodes and what's happening in the entire cluster. It's like a ringmaster or orchestrator of the entire system. Then you have some worker node which does all the data processing or you can say all the work. The data, as I just said, is stored in the Azure Data Lake or Azure Storage which includes the blob storage as well. Blob simply means binary large object. But when we need to use the Uzi and Hive, we need to store some metadata or table structure and HD Insight uses Azure SQL database to store it. However, you don't have to worry about provisioning it separately or learn Azure SQL for that when you create a cluster and start using it. It automatically assigns all the resources required. That's the beauty of using HD Insight. Everything is ready for you in a matter of few minutes, around 15 to 20 minutes to be precise. Then we also have something known as edge nodes. They act as the network interface between cluster and outside world. You may not want to expose the cluster to every end user. That's when the edge node acts as the connection between the cluster and the end user. The gateway nodes are for management and security. The entire cluster is implemented on a virtual network and you can access various nodes only through these gateways. It manages user authentication as well as request forwarding. Then you have various interfaces through which you can access the node as well as the data storage. Though I have shown some of these client tools on the rightmost side, it does not mean all of them need to go through this network of nodes to access the data. You can access the data of Azure Storage directly from the command line interface of CLI, PowerShells and Visual Studio as well as through tools like Azure Storage Explorer. All right, Azure HD Insight offers various types of clusters on the cloud. You can provision an Hadoop cluster for batch processing or if you need a NoSQL database, you can provision an edge-based cluster. For real-time streaming data and depending upon whether you require in-memory computation, you can provision either a Kafka, Storm or Spark. All right. For various statistical purpose and machine learning, you can also use R server. If you prefer to use Azure machine learning and need data to be made available using interactive and faster queries, you can provide an edge base or interactive query cluster. It's natural to ask, why should I use HD Insight and what are its benefits? Well, it offers all the benefits that naturally comes with cloud computing. So, you have SLAs from Azure. You have the worldwide availability of your cluster 
from the word go. You can also start small and then scale as you. So basically, you can start with a small cluster of maybe 8 to 10 computers. And then as the need arises, you can literally scale it up without disturbing your existing cluster to anything from 10 to 100. All right. So, of course, it has various compliances already taken care of by Microsoft Azure. You can even integrate Active Directory support for the same. And uh, as we have seen, you can even allocate any cluster type such as Spark, Storm, Kafka, Hadoop, or Edgebase in a matter of minutes. The availability of variety of cluster also means you can practically perform all types of applications from standard batch processing and data transformation or real-time streaming data for IoT applications or for websites and such. You can also execute data science applications using R and Azure ML as well as H2O AI platform. I hope that's enough to provide you with an overview of HD Insight. Let's now allocate an HD Insight cluster. Thanks for joining me. Don't go away and see you soon.